Hello there, my name is Stacey Jensen and thank you for visiting Colorvale. Today I'm going to show you our new action. We really wanted to take the time to develop something for you that makes your editing faster, smoother, more professional, more clean, and to do that with saving you an amount of time that will really speed up your workflow. We made this action thinking about that workflow from the very beginning, what is straight out of your camera to the very end. And rather than build you a set that has all of those necessary actions that you have to go in and click each one to do, why not make you an action that's all in one and everything done for you? You just have to click the layers to turn them on or turn them off. So let's get started. In your package, you're gonna see three different fixings. You don't have to run each one of these. As a matter of fact, you don't run all three of them. You only run one that fits your needs. So basically, the three are a regular, which is your everyday photograph. It's not underexposed or overexposed. It's just kind of right, and you need to do some a few things to it, which is my everyday action to use. Next, you have four overexposed photos. So this takes the regular and fixes that exposure issue, so it brings back the depth and shadows that you need. The other, the third option that you have to use is the same uh, action as regular, but it's for underexposed. It will really bring back that brightness and light and air to the photograph that you need, such as this photograph. So this is just slightly underexposed. We could run any one of these um, fixings on it, but the choosing the one that best fits the photo will save you even more time because you won't have to turn on any extra layers. So let's go ahead and choose underexposed for this photo. The action will take just a few seconds longer than any normal action, but again, that's because it has everything in it for you. It's gonna have your digital retouching, such as your skin smoother, your sparkly eye, all of those things that you would have had to run individually, taking up more of your time. You run this once on every photograph and just do a couple tweaks, you're all set. So as you'll see, it, it folds everything up nicely into categories for you. Element choosers, they won't be grouped, but they are titled and um, set next to one another. But here we have just running it, takes it from an underexposed to a perfect exposure. However, we can do a few little things by opening up the exposure palette and turning on extra layers. If you've got some great stuff in there called BAM, I love this layer. You can turn on a hot spot light. There's so many wonderful layers. You turn them on or turn them off if you need a little gold tone to your image, so forth. Go ahead and play with these. The next thing that you're going to do is look into your colorizing layers. These can add some warmth, some glow, caramel drippings. Um, I love, I turn it down to a lower piece, but it's incredible. Photoshop users, you have paint on mats, so these are really great to add to your background. Anytime you're painting anything on, such as eyes, um, highlights, things, you need to use the black layer mask. Please click on the black layer mask. The brush is gonna be selected for you and it's going to be white, so you just paint that on. Once you're done with that, we're gonna close up this one folder and we're gonna go over to the digital. This digital retouching is what is gonna save you tons of time. Photoshop users, you have a paint on color pop. So we quickly can come over to any of the uh, strong colors in our photo that we wanna pop even more. Next, the blush. Again, look at how fast I'm going because I, my brush is already selected for me. So add a little bit of blush onto her. The next thing you click on the black layer mask to the twinkly eye, get a smaller brush, click on the eyes. Let's zoom in so you can see the difference of that. Let's turn it off, turn it on. Amazing, it just adds that perfect little bit that you need. The next thing you go over to the hair and the uh, lips highlighter. Again, make sure you're on the black layer mask. Come over to her hair, get a larger brush, just quickly sweep this right over her hair. Next, move on to the skin smoothing. Clicking the black layer mask, getting a smaller brush, I'm gonna paint over it. If these are too strong for you, you simply paint on the areas, then turn it down. I turn it down after I've painted so that I can see where I'm painting, and just quickly come in, turn this down to about 15% or so, and I'm all finished. So the great thing about this is it has finishing touch tools that 
are turned on. Your finishing gloss, the sharpening, is already done for you. You don't have to sharpen this photo to finish it. It's ready to go. You could turn on the vignettes if you wanted to. If this is an optional piece, close it up. So now what I would do is save this as a color photograph for print. One of the greatest things about the fixings is once you're done with the saving the color photo, you just simply turn on the black and white, and now you have a black and white version. Again, as you watched me edit this photo, I didn't have to run any more actions. They're all done for you, all one time with one click of the play, and you also get your black and white photo. Um, Photoshop users, you have an optional matte, overall matte, so if you love black and white mattes, if you love black and white but you want a little bit of um, warm color tones, you can do that. I will give you a tip. The, the great thing about the honeydew layer is if you don't want the color that the honeydew is, you simply double click and you can change it, tone your image any way you want. So we could put a blue toner on it versus the gold toner. You just double click on this thumbnail. Make that color, the honeydew layer, anything you want. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.